Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to create tables for our blogs database. So far we have been able to successfully uh, create our database. Now there is uh, something that I need to tell you about the difference between MySQL uh, DBMS and SQLite DBMS. And that difference is that MySQL databases are created on the local server and are run on the local host server. Now, every query that you write, uh, every SQL statement that you write, will have to communicate with the server in one way or another. And when that query is accepted, then the data will be sent by the server. Now, that is the reason that we need to establish a server connection whenever we're working with MySQL instance. But SQLite doesn't even have a server. It's like any other file that you store on your uh, computer. It doesn't have any server. So how can we create uh, tables? First off, we need to reference uh, the blogs database that we just created. So I'm going to say use blocks. It says database changed. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the columns, uh, the tables first. So I'm going to say create a table. And the first table, I'm going to call it topics. And within the topics, we are going to create our columns for this uh, uh, table. So the first one is going to be topic underscore ID. I'm going to say it, it has a type of integer and the limit is going to be 11, 11 digits. And it is it has to be not null and I'm going to set it to auto increment. Perfect. Then we are going to have the title which is going to be a variable character or a varying character of 30 digits, uh, 30 characters, sorry. And um, the next one, I'm just going to set it to category. So we have blocks. We, we have this blogs database. Within the blogs database, you're going to have two topics. I should have probably given you the overview first. Now, two tables. One table is topics, the other one is tasks. Now, think of it like um, trying to create a database, like a very low level simple database for uh, Stack Overflow like forum. Then you have topics where anyone can post their questions, and then you have tasks uh, which might contain war one or more solutions to that specific question. And they're related to each other using the foreign primary key foreign key relationship. So we have our uh, uh, category, which is var char again, and I'm going to set it to 255. Perfect. And then at the end, I'm going to provide the primary key relationship. So I'm going to say primary key is going to be the topic underscore ID. Now let's close that. Now uh, the first uh, parenthesis is going to belong to this topic ID. The second one is going to belong to our uh, topics general like uh, parenthesis. And then we are going to provide a semicolon and hit enter. And it says query. Okay, perfect. So uh, this is our topics table. We can we can take a look at tables. So to just Take a look at tables. You just uh, write show tables, and this is going to be our table. So it says tables in blocks topics. So we have been able to create one table so far. Now the next table is going to contain the tasks. So I'm going to say create table tasks. We are going to have a task underscore ID, which is going to be uh, integer. 11, I'm going to say not null, and auto, auto underscore increment, increment, increment. Make sure you uh, spell them correctly. Then we have our topic ID, uh, primary key foreign key relationship. So I'm going to say topic ID, which is going to be integer 11 digits. Okay, let me create that, 11 digits. And then we have, it should be required. So it should not be not null. Then we have our description, which basically provides the solution for that specific problem or issue. So we have a description, which has to be like varying var char. I'm gonna set it to 255. 
So, and eventually we are going to say primary key in this table is going to be the task, just remove that space, it's going to be the task ID. And what is the relationship to the foreign key within this table? The relationship is going to be the topic ID. So we are going to say F-O-R-E-I-G-N. It's a little bit different, difficult for me to spell this foreign I always misspell it. So uh, foreign key is going to be topic ID. Keep in mind, the primary key for one table is foreign key for another table. That's how this relational model works. And what does it reference? So references, it references the topics table. And from there, the topic underscore ID column. Let's close this. So. I think I need to provide another parenthesis. The reason that we provide another one is that belongs to this bigger one, this like parent pair of parentheses. That's why we provide it. Let's provide semicolon and hit enter. There we go. We can take a look at our tables. We can say show tables. Oops. Now you need to now when you don't provide semicolon, it is going to ask for you to just provide something that like terminate the statement with something. And there we go. You can see we have tasks and we have topics. So I'm going to try to insert a few records as well in this lecture. And we're going to look at this table. And then in the next lecture, we're going to dive into how we can connect Python to this database. So to be able to insert records, I'm going to say insert. I'm going to move past these, breeze through them because we have talked a lot about this. So I'm going to say insert into topics. I'm going to say title and category category and uh, the uh, the primary id the primary key which is topic id is auto increment so i don't need to worry about it the values is going to be for example someone posts a link is not working so this is the title what is the category let's say the category is html Let's terminate this statement and let's hit enter. Perfect. I'm going to insert uh, two relevant tasks into the tasks table as well. So I'm going to say insert into tasks and I'm going to pass in description, description, and we are going to pass in the topic underscore ID as well. The task ID again is auto increment. So we are going to say, for example, this is the first solution. Make sure the URL path is entered, uh, entered, entered correctly. Perfect. And uh, what is the topic ID? We know that it belongs to one. Now, the reason that you need to provide the topic ID is to, to just make sure that there is no error. And the reason for that is when we created the tasks table, we said that the topic ID, which is integer, it is required. So it cannot be null. It, it is required. So you need to pass in a topic ID. Because it is our first topic, we know that it is going to be 1. Perfect. There we go. That is OK. I'm going to pass in another task as well. For that, I'm just going to hit the up arrow. And it is going to copy the above line. And I'm going to pass in. It is going to be task 1 as well. I'm just going to delete the solution. And I'm going to say uh, type the URL and the href attribute. Perfect. We, I, I have prepared a, a full HTML5 and this is three course, so you don't need to really worry about what href is. Okay, so we have everything perfect. Let's hit enter. I'm going to insert another topic as well, just to make sure that everything is working correctly. So I'm going to grab the topics. I'm going to say this time it relates to uh, my SQL DBMS. And what does it say? It says, you can see that I'm copying and pasting just because it is simple. And I'm sure you get the idea. So I'm going to say my SQL server is not running. It's not responding, responding, that's responding, perfect. And let's hit enter, perfect. And for this one, we are going to insert one task as well. 
So there we go. Now this one is going to be 2. So I'm going to pass in 2. And the solution is going to be reconfigure. Reconfigure uh, my SQL server basically very simple stuff now we have been able to insert two tasks and three uh, sorry two topics and three tasks so now how can we take a look at how can we extract this data first let's take a look at our tables oops so now you can see we have our tables tasks and topics the way that we can extract data is using a select statement so we're going to say select all the columns from the topics table there we go. So you can see that it gives you this terminal, this command line. It gives you like a, a very cool representation of your database. So you have topic ID 1. Title is link is not working. Category is HTML. You have topic ID 2. MySQL server is now responding MySQL DBMS. We can select all the tasks as well. So all the columns from the tasks table. There we go. So now you can see this is the good thing this is well everything that this relational nature of MySQL or this structures query language depends on it depends on this relationship so you can see we have topic id 1 and topic id 2 so for one topic we have two tasks two descriptions even though the task id is different because task id is is irrelevant from the topic id which topic does th do these belong to they belong to the topic id number one it is the same dilemma that if you create like an employees table and what if an employee has more than one email address then you, would you add another column for that or would you just go ahead and create another table and f connect them or relate these two tables using a primary key foreign key relationship the second approach is the best it is actually recommended so you can see that we have connected our primary key inside the topic id to the um, uh, foreign key within the tasks within the tasks table from the topics table to the tasks table so I think with this, our lecture comes to an end. See you in the next one.